Now, was that an intro or was that an intro? Earlier on my community tab, I let you guys know that I had something spicy planned for the beginning of the week, and this is it. I've been planning this intro for about the past two to three weeks now, and shockingly, it came out exactly how I pictured it in my mind. For the people in the back still trying to play catch up, I tried to reenact in some type of way the Beyonce Rocket music video. The whole video was just a complete vibe, and y'all know I can't do anything and just have a seat. No, I had to come and bring y'all some heat, and that's what I did. Now, today's video is being brought to you guys by Asteria Hair. They sent me their Brazilian Deep Loose Wave, I believe, in the inches of 22 and it's 180% density. Now, the website doesn't really say that it is Brazilian, but I'm going to assume by the texture, you know, feeling of the hair. This is their 13 by 6 Deep Parting Space Lace Front Wig. I did go ahead and apply this wig gluelessly. I picked up a new mousse that I got from Dollar Tree, and this is an extra holding mousse. Girl, when I say this mousse holds you together, it almost feels as if you may have on an adhesive, but you don't. Um, it's really, really easy to take off just as a regular mousse. It just gives you a little bit more security. So I apply that to my wig because y'all know I'm not with that glue right now. I'm on a glueless train. If you guys have not seen my first video where I introduced me doing the glueless method, I'll definitely leave that up above in the cards and down below in the description box. <laughs> I want to make this first priority to let you guys know that I did not pluck this wig whatsoever. Not the frontal area, not my edges, not the part. Honey. All I did was just bleach my knot and I was done. This hairline was dope. Like, they did a really good job on the plucking. Like, pre-pluck? No, this thing was pluck, pluck. Not no pre-pluck. Okay, after 15 minutes, I did take off my scarf. And as y'all can see, oh, I'm coughing, Jesus, what? As y'all can see, my hair was molded so well, it was so hard for me to try to comb out the front of my head. So that just shows this mousse is the business. Um, I did have to go in and keep brushing the front just to get it nice and loose, but it did loosen up. It's not going to stay crunchy. That has gave me some nice little soft little baby hairs on this side, which was not needed at all. That's just one of my like signature things that I do, but this hairline was so well put together that you won't need any baby hairs if you so please. Before I even finish the whole hair look between this hairline and the deep six inch parting space, I was sold right out the gate. Me and my mom were actually in a rush to get ready for a wedding. So me not having to pluck this wig was just perfect. Here you see me just applying my Amon Press Powder in Earth Deep onto my lace because this is transparent. Now here you guys are seeing me use a hot comb. I recently just picked this up and now I see what the hype was all about when these first started being more popular. Girl, this thing changed my life and like cut down my styling time in half. I will leave the link to this hot comb down in the description box if any of you guys are interested. Here you see me just roughly applying some water, try to make my curls pop a little bit more. And yeah, I was out the door. Now, since I was rushing, I didn't really like how my hair turned out. Not as far as the texture, um, just how I applied the wig in itself. My edges looked kind of funny to me and also the lace was not as camouflaged as I'm used to. The hair texture was absolutely beautiful, but I did fix my hairline once I got back from the wedding. So yeah, we had to get myself together. Hopefully y'all can hear me. I got my little mic up over here. So if you wonder what this little bunched up thing is, is I got the mic on trying to be a little fish for y'all. I didn't like how my hair turned out. So you're gonna try it again. I think what threw me off is the fact that I had a side part with some curly hair. Y'all never see me 
with a side part. So I don't know why I even tried this. So we are gonna just bust it down the middle. Cause since the hair is so thick, it's kind of heavy on just this side and that's not the business. So let me find my little, my little comb. So this should look pretty good with it being bust down the middle. Ooh, my bad barbs. <laughs> All right, I gotta hurry up because the sun going down. Y'all know I'm gotta use my, I know I gotta use my natural lighting. First things first, right out the back. I knew what the problem was. I'm not really used to wearing curly hair with a side part, but with this middle part though, with this middle part, baby is good. Everything is looking so good. Oh my gosh, I'm in love with this. Okay, let me quit. I'll put the exact texture and everything on the screen over here. Y'all know how I do, I ain't gotta myself. This curl pattern is just amazing. I have no product in this hair whatsoever but some water. Water and using Pamela. Gave it a little hand job and it was out the door. I wet it with my water bottle, scrunched the ends like such. <laughs> and this is what we got. Now this side is starting to dry a little bit more and it gets fluffy. If you do choose to wear this hair by just using water, I would recommend you not to touch this hair while it is wet. Um, because it's gonna get really, really big and poofy. If you guys want that more defined look, I definitely would recommend you guys use a defining cream or a very, very soft holding mousse. I would not recommend you guys using a gel because it's gonna weigh this hair down. This hair is very soft and very flowy, so you wouldn't want anything that kind of restrict it, you know what I mean? The big thing I wanna talk about, besides the transparent lace, which is awesome, y'all know I love transparent lace, I wanna talk about this pre-plucked hairline. I did not pluck this thing at all. This is how the wig came. Once I bleached my knots, we was good. All I did was bleach her and it was just love at first sight from there. This hair is very, very thick and more weight is also added to it because it is in 22 inches if I'm not mistaken. This hair is very soft, this hair is very flowy. I'm not getting any tangling, but I am getting minimal shedding. But of course, this is wavy curly hair, so you are you should expect something. Um, I'm just pointing that out to you guys that I have gotten some shedding. I'm running my hands through it or using my brush I am getting some shedding nothing excessive but it's there this is the hair without it being behind my ears it's equally as beautiful I really don't have much else to say other than the hair is just bomb I would definitely recommend you guys get higher densities though because you will not be able to appreciate this hair unless it's thick so if you get anything below 180 in my personal opinion you're really cheating yourself lower densities and thinner thinner densities or thinner bundles will not do the hair texture any justice. If you guys like that natural, barely there look with 150 and below, by all means, you go ahead and do that, honey. But as for me and my house, we wear 180, okay? Okay. Oh, and also, y'all, that mousse that I used to do the glueless method for my wig, baby, this is more tacked than anything. It has such a great hold. It's even better than the first Dollar Tree mousse that I used in my first coolest wig video. If you guys have not seen that, I will put that video up above in the cards and down below in my description box so you guys can check that out. The good thing about it is even that mousse from Dollar Tree, baby, as y'all saw in my clips, it was hard for me to comb out the front of my head. It was stuck. Sis was tacked. So this wig is completely glueless. Um, I did lay my baby hairs though with my got to be glued gel um, because it's the only gel that actually gives me a nice firm hold with my baby hairs. I could have used a mousse, but I was in a rush. I didn't have time to really lay down my baby hair and let it set. I had to go somewhere, I had to go to a wedding. If you guys enjoyed today's video, please do not forget to give your girl a big thumbs up. And of course, subscribe to the Beehive down below. Join the Beehive gang, the Beehive fam, because we are lit and we are never, ever bougie over here. Do you understand me? I know you guys wanna keep in contact with your girl because I'm your best friend, you're my best friend, and we're all best friends. So add me on Instagram.
I mean, what? Here, let me see if I'm, I'll do it. If you guys are interested in this wig as well as the steer your hair, I'll leave all of the information and their website info down below in the description box. I got a brilliant idea from one of y'all. It was recommended that I start naming my wigs. Y'all let me know down below. What should she be called? What is her name? Because she's really giving me, giving me just fine, babe. She's giving me life. And yeah, as always, I love every single one of you. But until next time, my lovelies, your crown may tilt, but you never let it fall. Stay gilded.